Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to see the Azure function and how to set up the uh, Python configuration and something like that. So, the objective of this tutorial is to see how to set up custom versions of Python in Azure function app uh, and how to install and import custom Python modules and packages in Azure function. So, here we have already created a, a resource group to show this demonstration to go inside the resource group I click on that and here and I'm inside that resource group here first I will create the Azure function app click on it and here write the function app and we will see the function app in the list okay it is here click on the function app then click on the create here I have to provide a unique name that no one has taken before. I am going to provide like Notix FN. Unfortunately, it is available. And here is the resource group inside. I want to create the uh, all this stuff of Azure functions. And this is the hosting plan. Here I am choosing the consumption plan. There are two type of plan, app service plan and consumption plan. Consumption plan is basically a shared plan. You can learn more about these two different plans by reading the uh, written documentation of the function app. Here I can uh, select the different region, different location to create. And it also requires a uh, storage account. So this is a by default name. So it is okay. I am going to create with all this information. Click on create and just waiting. And we can see the deployment was completed. Uh, now I will go to the resource and here is the newly created Azure function app. So at first, I will create a new function in the Python, uh, selecting the Python as a language. Okay, to do this, cl click on this create new button. And here I will go to the, here we have some standard options, but I want to create my own custom function in Python language. So I will click on this link and we will select and here is an option uh, because Python language is not fully supported till now it is an experimental so I have opened this enabled this and will select the Python and for this demonstration I will select this HTTP trigger Python function uh, and this is the language and this is the default name authorization level all things are, de uh, are default and I will create the new function in a couple of minutes, it should be available. It's creating. Okay, it has been created now. Uh, just to see uh, whether this function is working or not, I can click on the run, uh, click on the run button. Here, the status is okay function is working well now I want to see the version of the Python installed to do this I will import sys and here I will write up print statement to show the version sys version now I will run save and run the output of this uh, print statement will come in this uh, in this log make some space for this okay we can see the python version currently installed is 2.7.8 if i want to uh, import some uh, standard packages that 
mostly we use in uh, machine learning and in some other tasks like the python and matplotlib so let's see what happens uh, i am going to import pandas as pd to see that whether panda is available on this standard version or not so i will again save and run and again to see the output here you can see the error is shown here import pandas spd no module named as pandas so uh, in the standard version we don't have pandas installed so let's see what is the procedure to install the custom packages on standard version and whether it is uh, possible or not and what is the solution so to, to do um, with the python version we have to click on this uh, function and inside function this is a function app and inside function go to the platform features inside the platform features go to this advanced tool open this advanced tools inside that advanced tools here is the debug console and go to the command section it will open the command because the function app is basically a web service a web application behind that so we will see all this information these are the directories of that web application and we are right now in the home directory inside home directory there are three things and uh, uh, let's let's try to install the pandas here so to this if i go python m run module pip install pandas and see what happens i have not installed any custom python version just calling the standard python that is installed by default here i will pause to save the time uh, the command i executed has been completed and it failed see the status what happened it was not successful basically and uh, there is these are uh, long 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 description of the failure could not execute in so 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 it is very difficult or um, not e easy to install the custom package custom library of pandas in the standard version so to solve this problem we have option that we can install a custom python version and inside that because there may be some uh, permission issue or something like that we can go through to this all stuff and can get the idea what was what is the problem there are some missing libraries and something like that so okay uh, to do this that uh, to install the new custom python uh, we have option we can go to this site extensions and it will open up the uh, a gallery and installed extension part here if i have installed anything will be shown here and this is the gallery of all extend extended packages that we can import in our azure function app and inside that there is a python as well like these different python versions are available but if i choose to install any of these python extension version it will by default install to this home and this location inside the home and inside this location but suppose if i am willing to install this to my custom directory and want to do this by the uh, command line that then how can i do this so here is the command to, to do this this one here is the command to do this and i will provide all this command in the description section so uh, nuget.exe install and source so an output directory is here I want to install it home site tools and I want to install the Python 3.6.164 version. You can change this part by uh, by your need. You can install 86 or 
8.6 version or you can install 2.7 or whatever you like you can see the available versions here and you can just copy the information from here and can paste this to uh, this part but right now i am going to run this command inside my uh, command panel come to the command panel come to here paste and simply run it so save the time i will pause the video until it completes we can see the progress like adding some packages right now okay in 2.74 minutes the new git action has been completed and the new python version has been installed and we can see inside the site and inside the tools the newly installed python version is available and inside that you can see some other informations as well is available okay now i want to move the content of this folder into the tools directory inside this tools directory so to this to do this uh, copy this command the second command this is the move command and paste it here it will move the content to this tools section and everything is here now uh, the first thing uh, is to go to the azure function and see the version that is currently being installed and give the reference to this folder as well so here i if i go to here and can see this line that i have pasted uh, you will see these two lines in the description section so the, basically these two lines are saying that the current installation path where python is available should be this one so all all the stuff is inside this home site tools and inside the tools there's a lib and inside that site packages so simply if i want to see the version uh, right now i have not installed the numpy so remove this numpy part and this is very simple python script just to check the current version installed and first clear all these following contents and run to see the output it's running okay third one the current python version is 3.61 that we have installed but now still we have not installed some custom python packages like pandas numpy and something like that so here i am going to install the pandas library first so go to here and as a good practice first upgrade the pip so python m pip install upgrade pip oh it will basically upgrade the pip version first it will remove the current version of pip and it will upgrade so here i'm again pausing the recording to save the time it has found the old version which is the 9.01 and now just uninstalling 9.01 version of the pip okay the latest version of pip which is the 9.0.3 has now been installed so here i'm going to install the pandas as well mm, pip install pandas and this pandas will install some other libraries like numpy and scipy like so it will also take some couple of minutes great successfully installed the python uh, pandas library as well as numpy and some other uh, useful libraries and required libraries for the python package now i will go to the function and will try to import the pandas and okay if i go to here mm, in 
the first and import pandas as pd and try to save and run function has been started and is running and successfully imported so a better idea is uh, to first introduce these two line at the top and then after that try to import or other stuffs like pandas like numpy as np and anything else that you have installed